What's happening, Internet? I am just finishing out a battery swap on my 2015 Zero RS. I picked this bike up at auction, and when I picked it up, it had a, uh, it seemed like a good battery, but as soon as I took it down the road about a mile and a half, it would go from 80% to 50% to zero, and the bike would just stop. I'd let it sit on the side of the road for a, a, a minute or two, and it'd magically come back up. I'd go for about another mile, and boom, it'd just be dead again. So I brought it into zero. Um, they ran their diagnostics on it. They said, oh, it's an older bike. You just need a new battery. And I thought, of course, they need a new battery that's, you know, six grand in their pocket. And uh, I, I just, I couldn't deal with that. So I found a way to swap the battery. And uh, I didn't see anything else online explaining on how to do this or anybody else that had done it. So I figured I was just going to post a quick video about the things I did. And uh, hopefully it's helpful for somebody. All right, let's just start with the, uh, the overall overview of what it looks like when it all comes apart. Uh, this is your pretty standard ZF 12.5 battery pack. Uh, very standard. The mystery to me that I could not find online is how this thing was held in and how it connected to the rest of the bike and what was entailed. Turns out it's actually really simple. This right here is your main connector. That's the ugly main connector that goes into it. This uh, little zippy thing here, clip, it clips on there. So you just doop, you shove it up and it clicks in. You undo that clip and boop, pull it out. It pops out. But that's the only electrical component that interfaces with the battery pack. There's uh, there's a grounding strap that's on top, and that's it. It's really a simple setup, and I'll show you how I got it out of my bike, and hopefully it'll help you to get it out of yours if you have to do something similar. Uh, here on my RS, um, admittedly the battery was easier to come out of the DS because it has a little smaller motor, so there's a little bit more finagling in the RS to get it uh, in and out. Just space is a little bit more cramped, but all in all, it's it's pretty simple. If you head over to New Zero Land and go check out their videos, he has an awesome video on how to remove, or pardon me, the charger, not the battery, the, the, the charger at the bottom of the battery pack. So there's about, I don't know, 12 screws you undo, and this thing just pops right out. There's a couple zip ties you have to do, you know, pull out your plug and a couple little wiring things. It's pretty straightforward. It'll take you 10, 15 minutes, and that comes off. Um, when you get done with that, take off the rest of your body work. You got to take off your, your side panels. You got to take off your tank. You got to take off your seat. You take all that off so that you can get access to your battery. The only thing holding this battery in place is this bolt, this bolt, and matching bolts on the other side. Four bolts. That's the only thing holding the battery in place. The first thing you need to do is support your battery. So I used my trusty milk crate. I uh, jacked the bike up a little bit, slid this underneath. So basically the weight... At that point, the weight of the bike was sitting on the milk crate. Um, but you want to make sure that your battery pack is well supported underneath here. Because what you're going to do is once it's well supported, you remove these four screws. So these two and the two on the other side. Now your battery pack is free of the rest of the bike. And the only thing that's really supporting your battery is going to be whatever you have underneath here. So for me, it was the milk crate sitting underneath here. That's what supported the battery. Now comes the fun bit is you have that out, you need to jiggle the battery forward and you can actually move it just a little bit. You can either kind of move the bike around, you can move the, the battery itself, but you gotta wiggle it, you gotta get up there to that connector, the connector that's hiding way right up inside there. So let me zoom over to the one that I came apart and I'll show you how that works. I would like to pause here for one second and just to review a couple of safety items before we go much further. Make sure your battery, your, obviously your bike is turned off. Everything's discharged on the unofficial zero manual. There's a, an article in there about how to um, discharge the system. Make sure that there's no energy going through it. It's, it's really simple. Um, one of the things, obviously, make sure your key is off. Make sure everything's unplugged. Make sure it's been sitting for a while so everything's discharged and nothing's kind of lingering in the system. You got coils and capacitors that are holding energy and things. You want to make sure that they're, they've had time to dissipate. Zero, the zero manual, recommends that this battery be as low as possible for safety reasons, I'm assuming. Um, what, I, what I 
believe is that they say safety wise, you want this to be as low as possible. So if you do happen to short something, you do happen to, to drop it, to shock, to anything, you have a much less likelihood of getting electrocuted, of having an explosion, of, of doing any serious damage to yourself or your surroundings. Um, these batteries are high voltage. They are dangerous. Uh, so you don't want to just go screwing around with them. You don't want to, you know, you need to be gentle and ginger and treat it with a, a with respect. But it's uh, it's a good thing safety wise. Just be cautious. Wear rubber gloves. Do some safety things. Make sure you're not wearing you know jangly metal that could possibly interact and, and touch on some things and ground and shock yourself. But just a quick safety tip for you. So make sure everything is off. Make sure everything has been dissipated. It's been sitting for a while before you start reaching in and grabbing all the electrical stuff. Okay, so this connector right here, this is what's hiding just right on the face of the battery and just it's sitting up just in that position. So there's your clip at the top and it's sitting right like that. So you can see it's kind of a tight fit to get up in there, especially when you got a big battery pack like that sitting in front of it. But what you'll do is you'll reach in from the top with one hand because you'll kind of have some access up through here. You'll reach in from the top and you're going to pop this clip right here and you're just going to lift it up so it can get right over this tab. And then with your other hand, you're going to reach underneath wherever you can get and you're just going to pull down. Now, what's nice about this is once you have it unbolted, as I said, the battery will move a bit, so you can actually get in there and wiggle it forward, give yourself a little bit more room between the battery pack and the motor. You'll be able to get your hand in a little bit easier and get tugged down on it. Now, when you get it down, the DS was a lot easier, again, than the RS, but you'll want to get it down, pull it out, and just kind of get it off to the side like this. Just kind of pull it off to the side. That way it does not get caught up in anything. That way it's, it's out of the way, and you have a much easier time getting your battery in and out. So once you have your bike properly supported, you have the battery supported, you got your screws undone, you've gotten in here and you've unhooked your um, your electrical main from the battery, your battery is pretty much loose and it's free from the bike. You have to lift the bike off of the battery. Your battery is supported by whatever it is you put underneath here. For me, it's my milk crate. That's what supports the battery. And now you get to lift the bike off for me it was a little bit easier i have a, a winch in my rafters and so i was able to hook the winch up i hooked it up um through here and then i i got a good spot up in here and i was able to lift the whole thing up while also letting my table down a little bit now i know not everybody has access to a winch or has access to a lift table i hopefully you have access to a couple of strong friends it's the same thing i used to do this with the uh, 73 super beetle i had you got to uh, remove the engine, you mount something underneath the motor, just like we're doing with the battery to keep it stable and secure. You undid the bolts and you were literally able on the back of a Volkswagen just to lift up the back of the Volkswagen, move it forward and just set it down and you lift the car off of the motor. So this, you can actually lift the bike off of the battery. So if you have a couple strong friends, you can actually get a couple on the back, couple on the front and they can lift while you kind of jiggle the battery and make sure that everything is loose and nothing's getting caught. And you can just lift the bike right off and set it to the side. And you're good to go. But that's the key. And I'll show you. Here's a picture of how I um, had it hanging. So I had the, the bike in the air. This is actually the DS. Had it in the air. And uh, that's everything underneath it. So um, it was it was fairly straightforward. It's not, it's not that complex to do. I'm going to pause for a second right here. I have to give a huge shout out to the guys down at EuroCycle. They're in Fort Worth, Texas, so if you happen to be down this way or you live in the DFW area, go down there, take a, take a trip. If you're looking for a new bike or whatever, they're really fair. They're really good guys. Um, I highly recommend them. I take my Ducati there for service, and um, if my Zero in the future needs service, I'm definitely going to take it to them. They're not paying me for this in any way, shape, or form. I have paid them lots of money, uh, but it's been worth it. They've been really great guys. Tony is the owner and he is, is nothing but friendly and willing to help. And their, their staff is excellent. So if you get a chance, go down there. I, I called up and I talked to him. He happened to have this DS uh, in his back room. It had been sitting there for a while. Uh, the guy who he got it from uh, hit a curb or a wall or a something. You can see that's a big crack in the frame right there. There's a, a twin to that crack on the other side of the frame. So this bike was shot. It was He couldn't use it for anything. 
And I told him I was going to be using it for parts and what I needed. And he's like, no, it'd be perfect for you. Super friendly guys. So if you get a chance, go check out uh, Eurocycle in Fort Worth. Okay, so now when it is time to reinstall your battery, it's fairly straightforward. Um, just like we did before, you're going to need to suspend your bike or you're going to need to uh, lift it up in some way, shape, or form. You get your battery on a stable surface where it can sit and not be... Uh, not interfere with anything and then you just lift your bike up and set it over the battery it's really that straightforward as the battery goes in you'll have a little bit of room um, you can keep it forward just a little bit and you'll have a bit of room that again it makes it easy to just reach in with this bah! plug it in you plug it into there down there and that's it you slide it up until you get your um, bolt holes lined up underneath it may take a little finagling you'll have to wiggle it around a bit to get it to, to line up just right you just bolt it in and you're good to go put your charger back on wire it all back up and then put your body parts back on and you'll be set to ride so if anything i said has made you feel uncomfortable and make you think that you can't do it or it's a little bit above your capabilities don't take it to a dealer let them do it um, they definitely have all the, the proper tools and maintenance and, and books and things from zero to, to do it the right way. Again, I haven't, I didn't have any issue with it. I'm in no way, shape or form an expert mechanic or ex this is my first time dealing with a zero. I hope this video has helped some of you out there to understand how the battery pack goes in and out, uh, how it interacts with the zero and how you can do it on your own if you are daring. Uh, thank you guys. Have a great day.